and uh, in Europe. We have eight manufacturing facilities and five innovation centers focused on in vitro diagnostics, imaging, critical care and operating room areas. And we have been associated with Arab Health for the past nine years and we are very proud to be uh, yeah, one of the major sponsors for this event continuously. And this year in Arab Health in 2015, we are signing uh, a joint venture with an Italian company called IMD uh, Italy into manufacturing X-ray machines, the high end of X-ray machines for CR, digital mammography, digital X-ray uh, and several other X-ray modalities. And this uh, production facility will be both, both in Italy as well as in India. And our idea is to bring these top class global technologies accessible and affordable to a larger section of the global population, including the Middle Eastern population. And even in UAE, we have been present in the brand name of Star Trivitron for past eight years. Uh, and we have presence in almost every major hospital, including government hospitals uh, in UAE. And one of the areas we are really proud of is we are the world number two, the newborn screening, which is a which is an area which all the Middle Eastern governments are focusing now. Though it has not become mandatory in Middle East, it's now mandatory in the US, Europe, Japan and many other advanced countries. And hopefully in the next couple of years, even Middle East and all the, particularly the GCC countries are bringing uh, this technology to all their hospitals to make it mandatory for every newborn baby. It is very important to do this. This program is as important as vaccination because many babies are born with genetic disorders and metabolic disorders. And if it is identified fight between the second and fifth day of baby's birth and treated within the first one month of uh, baby's birth, then they have a possibility of reversing the disorders more than 90%. So this newborn screening is an area we are putting a lot of focus and talking with many uh, GCC countries to implement and make it mandatory in the region. Uh, is this the first of its kind uh, in the region? And yeah, uh, there are only a couple of companies with the same technologies and both of them are happen to be in Finland. So our Finnish facility is uh, known as one of the world leaders in this facility, in this particular technology. So we are now uh, very, very keen to introduce this technology which we have been giving to areas like uh, Europe and uh, uh, Japan to uh, Middle Eastern area. And how have you found the response this year? during the event compared to the previous I think year. the event looks, at least in the first day, it looks very promising. There are a lot many more visitors and undoubtedly it has become the world's largest medical technology event. Is there anything else you want to wrap up with? Uh, no, uh, we are, you know, for us, Middle East and Africa is a very, very important area and we will use UAE as the hub for not only selling to UAE but also to support the entire region of Middle East and African territories.